feedback off. Hey everybody! Oh, oh no. My mic is doing a weird thing again. One sec, guys. Mic on, mic off. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Small Cats. Uh, please let me know if my mic sounds really weird. I think it's picking up my headset audio. It might be. Well, we're going to figure it out. It's fine. Um, welcome back to the 1.19. Oh, oh, no. Oh, fire. We've got a fire. One sec. I'm stuck in my own head. And I can't figure out how to get out. No, not my wood. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, as you can see, Lava is uh, trying to get our stuff, which was uh, not what I wanted, um, but I hope my mic source sounds okay. I had to switch over to my other headset. I forgot to charge it last night like a doof, you know, because uh, sometimes we do stuff like that. So if we don't remember last time, we were down here in these caves in the 1.19 snapshot looking for the deep dark, and we did not have a lot of success. Um... In reality, what happened is we ran around in caves for like hours on end and didn't really find anything. So we're gonna keep looking. I don't know how this caught on fire. There's no lava around here. Oop, I hear a zombie. Scary. Um, I could not tell you what direction I came from, honestly. I have no idea. Um, let's try not to die. No, Mr. Creeper, no. I would like to get out of this cave and get myself up to the surface. Without dying, preferably. We are on hard difficulty, so the skeletons, as you can see, are, like, really ruining my day. Oh, come on. There, come on. There we go. So, some fun news in my life is that I got a new job today, which is really cool. I mean, it's with the same company I work for now. It's like basically just like a promotion into a different department, but I'm very excited for it. I have wanted out of the department I'm in currently for a bit, for a while now, I would say. So it's pretty exciting and like, I think it'll be more uh, interesting and like technically challenging than my current job because my current job is kind of like a little bit boring and repetitive, like it's, uh, I'm an engineer, and like, it still involves engineering, but it's just not quite what I think I'd like to be doing for like a long time, so I'm very excited. Alright, come on. Our, what Y level are we at? Negative 42. I have zero desire to like, dig my way out of a cave at like, negative 42. I think that would really stink. So let's, uh, hello, hello, thank you. Okay, we need to eat some food. So one of the things I've seen, hello, sir, you have our room, that's concerning. Well, thank you for this leather tunic. I now need a new axe. One of the things I've seen on Twitter this week from people who are like playtesting this snapshot is that um, the deep dark is way rarer than I think we thought it might be. Like people are finding it like thousands of blocks away from their spawn point, 
which is crazy. Um, but also kind of cool, I guess. Like, I wouldn't want it to be too too easy to find, right? At the same time, like, you don't want it to be too difficult. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I guess I'm still trying to decide. It's such a new thing, right? Like, this is our first snapshot. Like, the warden still doesn't even know how to, like, get away from someone if they're cheesing with, like, a block tower, right? Like, it's not... Uh, I don't think we've gone this way. Like, it's obviously not finished, you know? Come on. Some of these noodle caves are so frustrating with, like, how shallow the ceilings are. Like, just trying to get yourself out of caves can be really difficult. Well, we're gonna follow this water up, I think. Maybe that'll get us somewhere better. It did! We have been this way before. Goodbye, zombie. No longer friends with that zombie. get out I think we want to get up there I have a water bucket let's do a quick water bucket scaffold to get ourselves out of this guy all right so we are up here and there's the lush cave. Don't don't notice me. I just want some of this iron really quick. Thank you. No, I said not to notice me. I said no. Okay. If if we have to do this. Okay. So I want to go that way, which I have all this, all of this, whatever this is. We're gonna just really quickly be dangerous and bridge across. There's no rules, right? I love this like weird wall of water in the background. That's cool. I don't know if we came this way or not. I don't really remember. I want to go up there. Look at all these tropical fish. Oh, this is so cute. This is has nothing to do with finding the deep dark, but I love this. This is so cute. Look at all these fish. That's adorable. I love it. Very cute. Much love. Wow. Um, I think we need to go, like, up that way, to be honest. I'm not really sure. We're just trying to get ourselves out of this cave at this point. Yeah, that didn't really lead us anywhere, did it? Hello, fish. Maybe that way? I... The problem is, is I don't really remember how we got into this cave, because A, it was a week ago. And B, like, I'm dumb. And it was a huge cave. On the bright side, though, I think we just came from down there. Yeah, we did. On the bright side, we're way high. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I did not want the debug screen. But as you can see from the debug screen saying no, uh, I do not have cheats enabled. So, I think we want to go down there. Can we MLG water bucket this? No, we can't. Lol. <gasps> Wait, guys, we don't need an axolotl at all. Like, that has nothing to do with it. But we're keeping him. Alright. Well, we, uh, we did that. We did not need an axolotl, but now we have one, so. One sec, guys. Sorry, I wanted to mute my mic for a hot second because, like I said earlier, I was worried it was picking up some weird audio. 
So I muted it to see like, is it picking up my music somehow? And it's not, we're all good. Ooh, there's a scary, scary guy down there. A spider skeleton guy. Don't like that. Not my fave. But yeah, there's no cheats enabled. There's none of that jazz. It's just us versus caves and dying a lot. Probably. Oh, you're a cute axolotl too. Oh, I love you. I love axolotls. They're so adorable. I mean, they're adorable, but at the same time, like they don't make sense in this game, but that's fine. They don't have to make sense. Axolotl's not required to make sense. I think this is a way out, I want to say. It just feels like it. Are those diamonds up there? I think those are diamonds. Be gone, sir. Am I crazy? Those are diamonds. Okay. We have to get those. Do I have a book? No. Hello. Oh, yo! The skeleton just killed that creeper. We can get a disc. Um, what are we gonna drop? That. Oh, cool, we got mull. That's a uncommon one. Wow, haven't found the deep dark. Not doing any of that stuff, but we have a disc. So there's that. Hi, Zyambo. And more importantly, we found some diamonds. So that's pretty cool. Shiny shinies. Okay, no more. Yes? Hello? I'm. What do you want? What's wrong? Goodbye. Well, I guess he didn't want anything. That's his problem. Mm, yeah, I think we kind of explored this way. Oh, also, that's a very steep drop that I don't really want to make. So we're gonna go back this way. Oh gosh, it's skeleton land. All right. All right, let those goofballs fight. do we have five hmm we have a diamond pick so that would give us almost enough for pants we need seven for pants I think all right so I think the way to get out of this cave is to go back this way now I just think this I'm not necessarily right but I think we need to go this way down and then like up you know we're uh, gonna try we've got some blocks on our hot bar we've got our axolotl again not necessary but we have him Yeah, we need to go up that way. We're gonna climb this waterfall, I guess, and get shot by a skeleton. Oh my gosh, come on, dude. I'm trying to get out of this water. Stop. It's very hard to get out of the water when you're like trying to shield and like not get shot. All right, you're very rude, sir. There 
right? Yeah, we need to go that way. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, I don't know how. So we got down here. I'm pretty sure by like throwing ourselves off a cliff. So I don't think we can bring Mr. Axolotl with us, to be honest. Goodbye. I'll miss you forever. Because we, we actually like need a bucket of water to get out of here. True facts. <gasps> okay, that was scary. We're fine. It's fine. I'm just bad at parkour. punch a creeper to kill it geez okay you know we never did go because we went straight down but we didn't go this way we're gonna find out i feel like i see a skeleton up here yeah there is yeah get him mr spibber Sorry, we have to deal with that guy's sword. I want his sword, though. Stop shooting me. Wow, so many mobs. So many, guys, so many. Well, that was terrible wasn't fun at all. Yeah, no. Give me your give me your sword. Oh, it's gonna break. Whatever. Yeah, I don't think we like came up this way to be honest. Oh I'm crying out loud. Literally cannot get a single moment of peace. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the cave we were looking at before. All right, I want to get out of here. I want to go to sleep. I have a bed. We sleep in. All right, thank goodness. I was really worried it was just gonna keep raining and be really loud. All right, water bucket climbing time, guys. All right, better than any other parkour tools. Hey, it is daytime. Leave me alone. Literally. Don't you know the rules? It's daytime. You can't bother me when it's daytime. Right? That's the, that's the rules? Hmm. Don't see any evidence of the deep dark whatsoever. So we keep going. In truth, we have not been very far in this world, like, in terms of, like, travel. I want to say we came from that direction. So let's keep going. A little bit of overworld exploring through this lovely... Oh, you know what? I think we actually came... Ugh, I'm getting, like, the worst lag spikes. I don't know why. I'm not doing anything. I'm just, like, watching... I'm just streaming. That's it. Just streaming. Not doing anything whatsoever. Um, I actually do think I want to go this way. I think I actually came from that way now that I think about it. Because I remember like going towards these icy mountains. I think. It's kind of hard to remember. It has been a while.
We do have diamonds. We could build a jukebox and get the achievement for playing a disc in a meadow. Although it's not the other side disc, so I guess that kind of ruins it. Alright, what direction are we heading? Um, I, uh, I can never remember where the north is. Where is north? Wow, I'm really struggling to find the word north or east or whatever. Oh, we're going north. Okay. We're just gonna keep going north. Oh, look, bees. Just explore and appreciate the wonderful new Minecraft 1.18 slash 1.19 terrain. Okay. Whoo, that was stupid. That was not smart, ow, on my part. Pay attention when you're going, small cats. Pay attention. Oh my goodness. What was I thinking? I was just like, I'm just gonna wander. Oh, that looks cool. I love that. Like, the stony shore with the cliff. That's super cool. Some of this new generation is so good. Definitely, I need to remember to like gather some resources and like kill some cows and stuff on the way. Have enough coal. Honestly, look at that mountain really quick. Is that not awesome? Like, that's such a good mountain. That's really honestly so cool. I love that. And also, these cliffs, awesome. They look great. Hmm. This is like still roughly north-ish. I know there's a lava lake over there because there's trees burning down. Fire tick is on. We saw that earlier. This song is weird. A jungle. So one of the things I've noticed with the new like 1.18 terrain is that jungles are really common now um, and deserts are very uncommon because you used to find deserts pretty frequently and now like it is a struggle to find a desert but you get jungles literally everywhere and you like couldn't find jungles to save your life. All right sheepies I'm very sorry for what has to happen. I need your your sheep meat. And you. And you. No one saw any of that. No crimes have been committed against sheep or chickens. Oh. Goodbye to my axe again. cooler now. You're a baby chicken, so you get to live. Alright, looking for caves. Looking for caves. Also, the new jungle edge biome looks really good. Like, they've done a really good job of kind of, like, smoothing this out and making it a little more palatable as, like, a building space. Because, in my opinion, the, like, the actual like jungle biome is really hard to build in. It's just too like densely foliated. Foliated, I believe, would be the right term. Too much plants. <laughs> How's that? Ooh, stony shore. 
See, that looks really great. I love that. But this is not what we're looking for. So north is basically directly into this jungle. I think we're going to take a quick siesta of crafting in my of crafting and smelt smelt up some stuff because we need some food and some iron and i'm gonna chop down some trees or well i'm gonna kill these chickens actually Oh, and here we have a cave entrance. So, oop, I almost walked into it. So that might work out for us. I swear, like, I hear this song on this playlist every time we stream. It's like every single time. How many arrows do I got? Nine. Yeah, you get to live, tiny chicken. Okay. Here, take that wooden pickaxe. <laughs> like. Honestly, I don't really need this stone pick anymore. Let's get out of that. This iron sword has, like, no durability. I'm gonna get rid of that guy. We don't really need these bones or this gunpowder. We are gonna keep them diamonds. We've got diamond shoes. Can we make a diamond hat? We can. Beautiful. Look at that protection. So protected. Well, we're doing a little bit better for ourselves now. <laughs> Smelty smelt. Just gotta get that smelting, you know? Alright, so we got all those steaks. We're gonna cook this mutton. It's getting dark again. I really don't want to go back down into a cave with, like, not- without food prepared and stuff like that. I just have no desire to be unprepared for- being in there because that's just how you end up dying i know chicken i know i love how baby chickens heads are like massive and the rest of their bodies are like a reasonable like size for being a baby chicken but you know i digress and then i am actually going to make a new shield because my shield is doing very badly What do I care? This is an experimental snapshot that I won't play in anymore when the next one comes out, so I don't really care if I uh, waste, <laughs> like, a shield. Doesn't matter at all. I do hear that skelly bop. And a zombie. Okay, come on. Smelt, smelt, smelt. Look at that. First jungle log of the world. Put them back. I just want to find the deep dark so badly. It's all I want out of life. I think there is no okay i thought there was a cave entrance right there it's just kind of a hole in the ground all right so that's all our iron smelted up our chicken is almost done i'm gonna grab that we do have plenty of wood and stuff like that 
And now we've got a decent amount of food. We have some wool, which um, I am gonna hold on to. I should have kept all that wool that I got from killing sheep, but it's honestly not the end of the world. My thought process was kind of like, oh, I guess maybe we should keep it. Now that I'm thinking about it again, um, just because of the deep dark and like the wool basically blocking the sounds for the warden, but it, it doesn't matter. Okay. Take that. And then I think one other thing we're gonna do is make some sticks. Uh, I don't remember how to make a bow. It's like that. Guys, how do you make a bow? Like, genuinely. Ah, I always get that wrong. Like, I, I never get that right. I, ever. For as long as I've lived, I have never gotten that correct. I'm gonna kill these cows really quick. We're gonna bonk them. Hello, sir. Get bonked. Gosh, why are iron axes so good? Alright. So I think our best bet is to head into this cave that's over here and uh, see where we can find ourselves. I'm no, I have doors, so I'm not super terrified or anything. Oh, that takes us back out into the whatever that is. This looks like a crappy little cave that we didn't want to come in. Terrible. Worthless. Bad cave. Don't like it. Yep, and that doesn't go anywhere either. Okay. Okay, not worth our time. We keep going. Sir Sheep. Gib wool, thank you. Oh, you. Hello. Gib. Thank you. I shall also shear your brethren. I got a new ethernet cable, and I'm hoping it, like, helps with my streams, like, uh, bitrate stability. Because that's been a problem I've been having, but I'm like looking at it on my OBS software and it doesn't really look like it's better. So that stinks. I'm just going to probably end up having to shill out for like better internet or whatever. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to avoid doing that specifically. Everything, internet's expensive, you know? Aw, oh, parrot. Ooh, big cave. Okay. Um. All right, just a flooded cave. We don't really want to go in it. I do see a parrot, a couple of party parrots over here. Lovely party parrots. I had a one of these parrots on my SMP I play on for a while that I named Multicolored Disco Burb, but he got blown up by a creeper, so. Rip Multicolored Disco Burb. Those ones are cute too. It just stinks that like the parrots will make mob sounds at you like they'll like hiss and like a creeper and do other mob sounds like so whatever mobs they hear they can then mimic so they'll just like scare you half to death by like sounding like a you know a whatever and it's like come on i also like get scared by stuff in this game constantly like i don't need the parrots to like add to my trauma I hear a skeleton. Where's the cave? Here.
What's up with all these terrible caves? These aren't going anywhere. Alright. We continue. Maybe this jungle edge biome over here will be better. Hmm. Ooh. I'm very tempted to see what that terrain is over there. We're gonna do a little hop jump. And a skip. Oh no. Bad at swimming. That cave looked like it went down very deep, but I don't really want to try to, like, throw myself into it. Huh. Where does this go? It doesn't really go to anything. I do like that, though. That's a cool terrain gen. This is interesting. It kind of looks like a little pinchy mouth. I do enjoy like all the crazy terrain gen. It's just if only it would give me what I wanted. I wonder how many people are like playing in this snapshot in survival and actually finding these ancient cities in the deep dark because like almost every streamer I've seen is doing this like in creative mode. They're like using the locate biome command, you know, and are finding it that way. Because as it, as it turns out, it's a massive pain in the butt to do it any other way. Alright, we're looking for caves slash holes in ground. There's a hole over here. There's also a lava lake. We don't really need the lava lake. We could go to the nether just for, for funsies, but... Oop. Ooh. I think we have found a lovely hole in the ground. Yeah. Safety. We are 100% OSHA compliant right now. Definitely not being dangerous whatsoever. Sorry guys, my partner is putting the kettle on, so there might be some uh, crunchy kettle sounds. Mr. Zombie. Get bonked. Well, there we go. I like how I pulled my shovel out as my defensive weapon. Alright, we have 20 levels just from wandering around in caves. That's great. on I just want to I need to go down <laughs> give me down please please deeper caves like I threw myself into a ravine what more do you want I'm gonna go this way because I feel like it maybe goes farther down or it curves up immediately okay this may not be the cave for us. Ah! It's fine. Everything is 100% fine. Dang it. Okay. Yay, advancement. Take aim. Alright, go away, dude. I also heard an Enderman, which was very scary. It's a lot of kappa. Hmm. Hello. 
Please don't punch me, Mr. Enderman. I am innocent. I have done nothing to you. I will continue to do nothing to you. Let's be friends. Wow, this song really has some creepy sounds. I'm pretty sure I said this the last stream. I was like, oh, creepy sound song, like, but it does. Oh, did this really just loop all the way back around? That is so frustrating. All right, so that was a bust. Useless cave. And I am skipping the song, Pretzel, because it sounds gross. Ugh, it's like, it's like sewer something is the name. So it very much has sewer noises, which is a choice. Ugh, whatever. All right, so that didn't work out. Listen, if I don't see the zombie, he's not real. Doesn't exist, didn't see it. I was like, oh, we're gonna die trying to climb this ravine with a bucket. I'm looking for big holes in the ground. Big holes. No one saw this chicken massacre. Yep, nobody saw. That did not happen. There were no chickens in the first place. Yeah, so I think we're gonna put in like a little bit longer on this. Like if we don't find a, a cave that looks like promising in the next like 30 minutes, then we're probably gonna bop out of this and um, maybe hop over to some Minecraft bingo. Just cause like, it's not really fun to watch me run around aimlessly with no plan and no progress. Although Minecraft Bingo is kind of running around aimlessly with very little plan and sometimes very little progress. Mm, yeah, I don't see any good caves. All right, we keep going. Here's a ravine, that's good. A uh, very shallow ravine. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be promising. Hmm. Nope, not worth it. Okay. We keep looking. There's a tree on fire. What in the world? Is it a blue parrot? Oh, it's a blue parrot. So cute. Hello. Yeah, the ground like cuts away there to like an underwater cave, but again, there's not really any guarantee that if we dive down into that, that it goes like underground to like an open cave we can use. I know it obviously goes un deep underground, but we only have a couple of doors. I don't really want to risk drowning just to say that we, you know, well, we looked because we're pretty well geared up right now. Yes, we've already died once. Let's not do it again. So I see a cave opening there. I wish I had a spyglass. 
I don't have Optifine on this, obviously. Oh, that won't get. All right, let's walk over there. We'll just look. It'll be fun. It's an adventure, right? Like, hey, Mr. B. Yeah, that might be promising. Look at all these pumpkins. Interesting that the, like, the sound for walking on pumpkins is, like, very similar to the sound for walking on, um, wood planks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, my friends, is a cave. So, we need to get into this cave and, uh, not die. Please give me a hot second just to look at my phone. I'm sorry. My mother is texting me. She's kind of going through a lot, so have to answer. Alrighty, so we're gonna do a, uh, a water bucket guy to get down into this, and then we're gonna explore. There are gonna be a lot of mobs in here, as you can see, so we're gonna have to not end up dying. Oh, this is gonna be a problem, guys. Oops. That could have gone better. Well, it could have gone better, but we lived. Haha. <sighs> Can't get me, zombies. Cannot get me. Uh, that spider probably can, though. Alright, I'm out of arrows. <laughs> Very glad I didn't fall into that hole. That would have been bad. So I think, let's look over here. Ooh, skeleton with an enchanted bow way down there. I don't really want to draw his aggro. So this is a pretty big cave. I think we want to go that way, to be honest. Yeah, let's go that way. That that zombie lives down there now. And that's a witch. We're gonna go that way. We're gonna go around the witch. She turned me into a newt. Well, I got better. Oh, are you kidding? Does this cave really end? Ah, uh, <laughs> no. Why is my luck terrible? This is such a good cave and it doesn't go to anything. I love how that skeleton just immediately walked off the edge of something. He was like, oh, I've got stuff to do. Goodbye. Like, All right, then, sir. Goodbye. Zombies, please. All right. It's quite enough out of you. Does this go farther down? It does, but I don't think it goes... Doesn't look like it goes like down to deep slate. Yeah, I think this is literally a bust. Cause I don't want to spend like 40 minutes looking for a way down. Oh, that might be a way down. All right, we're gonna risk it.
You're kidding. <sighs> wow. My luck is trash. I'm just really having terrible luck today. Ooh, let's try this. Okay. Please tell me this doesn't end. Crap. Wow. Honestly. Afraid of baby zombies, honestly. Ah, oh, there we go. There's our deep slate. Where are they at? Baby zombies. I know you're here. Hello. You can't reach me, so that's good. Oh, you have a sword? That's my... N oh, oh, that's a lot of zombies. Where are you all coming from? There must be a spawner. Well, I'm just going to sit here and kill them. Now this is a cave. This is really great. Okay, so we want to go down, I guess. Yeah, because we're really only in the like, um, barely deep slate layers, you know? Oh, scary. Um, we need to get down there. Let's uh try to go up and around. Oh, we're gonna just fall. Stupid. Very dumb. What was I thinking? Very, very stupid. Okay. Ooh, okay. Safe now. Safe for like a hot second. While we eat and hope... And try not to die. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew I put that hole there. And I just turned around and fell right through it. Just walked right into it. Oh self. Why did I do that? Hello? Sorry no one's home. Please leave. Nobody's home. Slime chunk. Yeah, I guess there's a slime chunk down here. That's kind of fun. Thank you for bringing me my deep slate. That's very nice of you. Well, that was very stupid of me. So there's a deep slate cave. Where are all these zombies coming from? I swear. It's like the, the zombie attack radius is so far now. It's craziness. See, like, here comes this guy. From, like, a billion miles away. Like that everyone everyone just saw that right okay 
That is a bit of a safety mechanism for a hot second while I get some darn blocks on my hot bar. You know what I don't need on my hot bar? These shears. All right, baby zombies, sure. Come on, you two zombie cartographer. Everybody, everybody come in and bother small cats trying to find a darn city. Minding my own business, you know what I mean? So I get for playing on hard mode. You gonna make it over here or you guys can't? You stuck. Cool. Cause I I got stuff to do, okay? Just trying to find the stuff. Just trying to find a scary, spooky city. That's all. One scary city. That's all I want. I'm really hoping I don't fall. I would be very angry. If I can just, like, find a patch of skulk, I'm gonna be so sad. You know what I mean? Like... Just a patch. Just a, just a little skulk. Cats can have a little salami. Wow, Wilden. This is a cave. Well, we're gonna do this. And we'll get more water down there. Alright, and that's how we know to get out. I just see mostly mobs and those disco squids or whatever those are called. I hear you, spider, but I don't really want to hang out. You know, maybe another time. Well, this is the safest spot as any. It's very funny to me that, like, that giant cave we were in in the jungle didn't open up to this huge cave down here, but then, like, that tiny little offshoot cave did, you know? Wait, is that open to the sky right there? Oh, that's crazy. Not a single skulk block to be seen. I'm stealing this water. So I abandoned my water. This is my water now. Some diamonds down there oh and a geode that'll be fun let's let's make ourselves a spyglass that's a waste of our time that'll be really fun mr zombie i really just don't want to hang out if i have to That's not what I wanted. Why do 
I keep doing this to myself? I just keep meaning to do things and then not doing those things and then hurting myself doing the other thing. Oh, hello, Miss Wednesday Cat. Hi, thank you for coming to say hello. Ouch, claws, my dude, claws. Sorry, guys, I'd fight these zombies except for the cats trying to claw my legs off. I know, I know, kitty kitty, I know. Life is very hard when you're a Wednesday. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm playing games. I'm streaming. Okay, okay. Go, go do that. Goodbye. I hear a zombie, but I don't see a zombie, so we're gonna ignore it and we're gonna go over here. We have to deal with this creeper first. Haha. -ha. And then... Where was it? Yeah! Two diamonds is more than zero diamonds. I will take it. the sound of amethyst geodes. They sound so good. Like, they sound so good. We don't need these, but we're doing it. No, you don't get anything from those. They're too small. Okay. So we find some copper, we can make a uh, spyglass. Yeah, I don't really need that. I don't know why I broke it, but. All right, so, so far, no luck whatsoever in finding the skulk. Lava pit. creeper pit <laughs> like first there was a lava pit and then there was a creeper pit yes all right don't fall in there yeah no it's dark you're not supposed to want to attack me Is there another huge cave over here? Yo, there there really is. Wow. Wait a minute. I just saw the craziest looking thing, so we're gonna look at that in a second. But right now we're gonna we're gonna go out this way. Okay, they can't reach me. Yeah, they can't get me. I hope. Look at the size of that dripstone pillar. Yo! Wait, what? You just couldn't figure out pathfinding before this? Did you drop a carrot? Can't get me. Get wrecked. You guys are bad at pathfinding. Um, what do I want to do? I think I really want to make a new axe. Because, scary. Alright, 
so they're all stuck here. Or they were. They could have been. If I wasn't silly. I really don't want that one to whack me with the shovel. Like, what a way to go. Killed by a zombie with a shovel. Wow, this is cool. I love this. If only there weren't literally mobs every place. This would be so much more fun if I wasn't being attacked every second. Wow, that is a dripstone pillar. Look at that. I mean, that is wild. Like, the size of this thing is humongous. Get him, spider, get him. I'm just gonna let them figure that out on their own, you know? Without me. Oh, it looks like I have to be involved now. Excellent. So, let me get this spider. it's been a lot of looking for this ancient city and a lot of not success. I see diamonds over there, though. Just one skulk block, guys. Just one skulk block would really be cool, you know? But this thing is massive. I wonder if this seed generates the same in 1.18. That's such a cool... I'm gonna have to like show this to my partner after this because they love building underground. I feel like they would love this. And the cat is like sitting and crying like sad. I don't know what your problem is. What was that? Oh, I uh, I bought sound dampening panels, and sh the cat is like currently trying to like knock them off the wall because apparently they look like things that she wants to destroy. Question mark. You know, I'm not really sure I understand cats. Like, the more I own a cat, the more I don't get it. But that's alright. What's up, zombie? What's up, dude? Get bonked. I need to look up, like, how many mobs I've killed just in this uh, snapshot world. Because it feels like a lot. This is a crazy cave, though. I do like this cave a lot. I actually kind of want to go up this waterfall just to see what's up here. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky and see like a skulk block 
you know? Hmm, a mine shaft. That's good to know. are in the dripstone cave so maybe we can find some copper you know oh yeah right there and we'll make our spyglass while we're thinking about it that's not what I wanted Perfect. That's plenty. There we go. We're gonna use the spyglass to try to find skulk blocks. Yay. so zoomed the zoom is to the max yeah so far nothing there's some diorite So far, our luck is terrible. All right, get rid of that. We don't need that copper. I think we're gonna venture into this mine shaft, to be honest. I'm not really sure what else to do. What do we have to lose? We might find good loot. We might die. We might find a bigger cave. Like that. Let's make some sticks. Alright, goal number one is to not die. Number two, loot. I'm so afraid I'm gonna turn a corner. Oh, diamonds and loot. Like, I'm very afraid of turning a corner and like walking into a skulk block. Ooh, oh, that's a hole. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna fill that hole up because we have met me and I keep falling into those. So. Alright guys, let's see what's in here. Are you kidding me? Why is my luck so good? Okay, that is staying. And the rest of the amateur shards can go. Cannot believe. This is like the third enchanted golden apple we have found, like in this world. This is craziness, honestly. Absolute craziness. Like, I can't believe we found another one of these things.
Okay. I was about to be like, Enchanted Golden Apple? No. Just some glow berries and rails. Lame. You know, not the fun stuff. I guess we need to find a way down into the next part of the mine shaft. I was really hoping that, like, that this big cave would be where we found Skulk, but it just isn't working out that way. Nothing there. We keep looking. Like how you can just see like how much I've explored, but in reality I like haven't lit up like a square inch of this place. Okay, sure. That was odd. I'm gonna have to clip that for later because that was genuinely very odd and strange and kind of funny. Like. Creeper just walked off. He was like, I'm done. Goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. And like, throws himself off. Like, alright. Dramatic. CG, I'm good. How are you? We're still desperately trying to find uh, any any indication of the deep dark and what well, we're struggling. It is wild how how rare this biome is. It's so crazy. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, bad spiders. I was doing so good. I was doing so good until the spider nation attacked. Okay, yeah, I know. Oh, nice. How'd work go? Good, I hope. <laughs> we found some diamonds here, though, so that's cool. here can we see i shouldn't be span standing next to like a spider nest but at the same time oh well there is a geode way over there don't know if it's the same geode yeah it's uh it is very rare it seems I'm really hoping that, like, there is, hi zombie, the opportunity to find this stuff without commands. Like, I think they need to add in, like, a cartographer villager or something. Like, I see you guys down there. Um, 
something so that we can trade and get like a map kind of like the uh woodland mansion map because like it's really hard to find this stuff otherwise and like it shouldn't basically be only findable if you are willing to command the location in you know yeah there's a cartographer villager yeah they sell like if you trade them up I, I don't know if you're joking or not but um <laughs> they do sell like maps and stuff let's go in this geode this geode feels like it's a happier place on the inside than that cave out there oh no it's not never mind it's not a happy place no okay okay maybe Hey, it is! Never mind. I, I lied. It is a happy place. There's diamonds in here. Yeah, I mean, the cartographer villagers, like, will sell you, um, maps to, like, ocean monuments and stuff, so I think they should also do it for, like, ancient cities. In my opinion. Okay, so we're getting to the point where we died last time, which is where I got confident after getting diamond armor and then acted dumb. So, let's see how this goes. It'll be fun. Yeah. Blue and shiny. Let's go. Um, I'm actually, like, I'm gonna throw that out. Okay. Oh, is this a, uh, look at that. It's an iron ore vein. You can tell because of the way the iron ore is distributed. That's cool. Those are very uncommon. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. No, no, no. Yeah. No, I think they should uh, make it so that as a rare trade, you can get a map to the deep dark from a cartographer. I think that would be like a pretty balanced way to add that in, you know? Creeper. What a lovely creeper. Um, I want to go this away. However, we get over there. Um, we're just going to be lazy. really just waiting for a creeper to fall on my head right now like I hope it doesn't but I'm waiting for it you know the mine shafts in these open caves literally generate so weird all right so there is another cave spider spawner over here nope I think we got lucky and there's a torch yeah there's a torch over here somewhere I think or something that's lighting that up I just want skulk. Please give skulk. Thank you. I really don't think... Oh, excellent idea. Thank you. Oh, and to apparently stop the lava. Was a good plan thank you oh there's another one over here oh no haha <laughs> get wrecked i don't really want to go down there though i've changed my mind i don't like it enough Heard a spider fall. Oh, it's over here. Their hitboxes are so tiny. Alright. 
Yeah, I was. I was. It's true. Um, I don't know which way I want to go. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'll say that. I'll be like, no, don't do that. And then I'll do it anyways. Like... torches you also missed like uh the wildest looking drip zone pillar ever it was literally humongous other than that is that a fun fact or is that a very scary fact about how lava would set you on fire <laughs> Lava has that, like, unfortunate, like, appearance of looking like it would probably be really fun to stick your hands in it, you know? Like, and, and, you know what? Here's, here's Small Cat's safety tip of the day. Don't stick your hands in the lava, whatever you do. It doesn't, it isn't gonna be nice. Um, but it looks like it would be, you know? Yeah, yeah. You get what I mean. It looks like it would be fun. It, It's like one of those like forbidden snack kind of things of like, yeah, definitely don't do it. It wouldn't be fun, but like, dang, some weird part of my brain is like, yeah, do that, do it. Like, hmm. Dang, this iron ore vein, like, literally just keeps going. Wild. That's so cool. I love finding those in in the game, these things. It's such a fun thing to add in, because, like, it... You can get so much iron with fortune. Mine it? We don't need to mine it, though. <laughs> like, we want skulk. <laughs> Plus, it would take forever. Like, it would take so long. It gives you anxiety. I am sorry. I understand. Believe me. In, like, a normal playthrough, I'd be like, oh, yeah, we're, we're gonna mine that iron. But considering this is just our kind of, like, weird trash 1.19 exploring game, we're gonna let it go. Diamonds. Diamonds. I keep finding so many diamonds and none of the skulk that I want. And I found another golden, uh, enchanted golden apple in a chest. Which, like, again, not something that I want, but, like, cool. I think the game is just trying to make up for the lack of giving me skulk, you know? Sir. I mean, honestly, I might. I might. Like. Just, I, I could become obsessed enough with finding it. That That's the thing. I know for a fact that, like, when this drops in, like, normal survival, like, once it's done playthrough testing or whatever, like, I am absolutely going to spend an unreasonable amount of time looking for the deep dark in my actual, like, world. So, it's like, how much time do I want to devote to this now and, and then? I'm hoping they add some advancements, too, for finding the ancient city. Because I don't think there are- oh my gosh, more diamonds? What in the world? I don't even need any of these. the one um hello yep 
yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, what is going on today? What's going on? Do you think there will be an uh, advancement for killing the warden? Because I don't think there will be. Like, uh, we've been kind of told by the developers that, like, the warden is not supposed to be something that you fight, right? It's something you avoid. So I'd imagine that we're not going to get an advancement for killing it. There's probably going to be an advancement for, like, s having it up here, you know? But I, I don't think there will be one for killing it. Using a sensor, probably for sure. Um, and then, I don't know, I feel like there should be an advancement for, like, something to do with the, the Skulk Shrieker, the, the one that screams, ah! Okay, thanks, baby zombie, for, you know, really just helping with my anxiety there. This is getting bad. Come on. All right, that that was stressful for a second. We're fine. And we've inadvertently made a scumpus. As I was trying to say before I was uh, viciously attacked. Um, yeah, I think there'll probably be one for activating the shrieker, the, the screamy one. That would make sense. Hopefully they'll call it something really cool and metal, like, you know, howling in the deep or something. I don't know. Or, um, make a really funny, not funny, but, like, make a, a nice reference to, the, like, the Lord of the Rings, like, the, the dwarves delved too greedily and too deep. As it relates to the Balrog. Ball rock, I should say. I think that'd be pretty cool. A lush cave, man. I don't want a lush cave. I want skulk. You know, when I finally find this darn thing, like, man, that'll be the day. went totally fine. Everything is great. Don't look at the Enderman. Do not perceive the Enderman. All right. I do double tap to run. I know. I know. That's just like the way I learned to play it. Um, I think probably because I just, like, didn't know you could do it a different way. That's a nice lava lake. Um, and I've just never bothered to learn it differently. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that I do like that, that wouldn't be considered, like, normal. Ooh, survived. Yay. Oh, shield. Oh no, we're in trouble now. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Danger avoided. Oh no, I mean, there's. I think there's actually people who don't like the double jump thing though, right? Or, uh, not the double jump, I'm sorry, the double tap to run. I can hear a zombie somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Yeah, I think there are people who don't like that, like, genuinely. Gotcha. Yeah, I use shift as sneak, which uh, I think makes the most sense for me, just because of my play style. Oh gosh, I just don't know what to get rid of. 
that just ended up making more torches. Okay. Haven't really used the shovel a lot. Yeah, I mean, shift makes a lot of sense for, uh, for sneak. Or, sorry, for dash as well. Can't read. Scary. I never really played a lot of MMOs. The only thing I ever really played that was an MMO, which I don't even know if it counts as an M MMO, is uh, RuneScape. Because that's, if that says how old I am, is that I played old school RuneScape. Which is very much the kind of game that like dates how old you are. Nice. It's not just me. <laughs> Such a good game too, like, just a really fun game. I mean, and still, oddly enough, like an actually very active game. There's a shocking number of people who still play old school. Like, every time I see the like old school Reddit trending, I'm like, oh dang, there's a lot of you guys still playing this game. <laughs> like. we're gonna go back up towards this lush cave and whatnot. Nope. I'm trying to like actually use more torches this time because I know it was so hard to see before. I still have my brightness I think up like yeah like muy bright. You genuinely think our uh, RuneScape 3 should just let it die and it's disappointing, but old school RuneScape did what Jagex wanted to do with RuneScape 3. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Fair. I just don't think it's ever gonna die. Like, it's, it's got like that way too dedicated of a fan base, you know? Like, there's no way. zombie. Don't like it, but I do hear you. Come on. Really, my luck just feels so terrible today. <laughs> I feel like that's so accurate, though, because, like, I don't play old school anymore. But, like, if someone was, like, if someone put me in front of a computer to play old school today, I absolutely would get sucked back into that game for, like, three months. Like, no doubt. Another geode. Um, and I would definitely sit there and like swordfish for three months and then stop playing again for six years. But I would play. Although at this point, it's like any online game with that much content where I'm like so behind that I, I feel like it would be a little overwhelming. Like I tried to play uh, Guild Wars for a while. Um, I think it's Guild Wars 2 that's like kind of a thing right now. And like that game, there's just so much stuff going on that it's like impossible to really figure it out like unassisted and I, I didn't join a guild or anything. <laughs> oh, what do you stream? If you also stream Minecraft, sure, because Minecraft is awesome. 
and what kind of rig are you going to build? That's a, sorry, that's a question in three parts. We're never gonna find the deep dark. Never getting the deep dark. Anyone has ever seen that stand-up bit? It's like the John Mulaney talking to his wife about the Best Buy rewards card, and he's like, you're never gonna get that Best Buy rewards card. And like, that's how I feel about Skulk. Like, I'm never gonna get it. I'm never gonna have it. Where did you come from, sir? Yeah, and Minecraft is like easy to stream, so it's a it's a good thing to start off with. Cause it's just like Minecraft, you know? Oh, there's so many mobs I can just tell. Okay. I wanna go up there where it looks fun and safe. Not terrible. Yeah. I have AMD and it's pretty good. But Obviously, like, there's, like, shortages and stuff, and it's hard to get anything computer-wise, which is crappy. Okay. Oh, come on! Baby zombie wearing armor? That's crap. very glad I brought as much food into these caves as I did, or I would be very dead right now. Okay. What time is it? 9.40. Alright, we're gonna probably be calling it quits here relatively after I get these diamonds soonish. Yes, I'm not trying to survive on rotten zombie flesh, so... I did do a little bit better at the planning before coming into this cave specifically, because last time was such a nightmare. And I did a lot of starving and not having food and then dying. So I don't know the spawning rules for the Skulk as it relates to other biomes like i don't know if it'll only be in these like standard deep slate caves or if you'll be able to find it like here in a lush cave you know i feel like i've been in this lush cave before but they all look the same i see you skeleton How many diamonds we got? 16, dang. We're gonna make pants. <laughs> One sec. L let's make ourselves some pants. Wonderful. And now we have all these diamonds that we aren't doing anything with. All right, we're just gonna keep going. I just like don't know what else to do. Ah, uh, <laughs> the skulk is so hard to find. Oh, hole in the ground. Hello. Maybe we're gonna go down there after we get rid of the skeleton. Sir, stop shooting at me, please. Yeah, let's go in this hole. Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Lame. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so it is spawning naturally. And you should be able to find it. It's just actually finding it is the problem. Because it's very low down in the world and very rare. 
But it is spawning. Like, it's definitely a thing. The, uh, the skull catalyst will spawn right now. But, like, it's kind of weird. So, like, whatever spawns naturally with the skull catalyst doesn't give you XP if you mine it. But then if you kill mobs or, like, drop XP somehow next to the skull catalyst, that skulk will drop XP when you mine it. So it's kind of strange. Can I throw my- should I throw myself into this lava just because we aren't finding any darn skulk? I'm not going to, but I could. But yeah, I, I also wouldn't be really surprised if, like, the mechanics around Skulk change a lot in the next, like, six months. I, I don't think they're gonna stay the same at all. There's no way. Like, right now the Warden is, like, so cheesable because it doesn't have a ranged attack to deal with, like, if you pillar up, basically. And, like, if- that just seems silly, you know? Like, it definitely should be able to deal with, like, basic stuff like being- pillaring up and whatever so they they have a lot of work to do with it i'm just excited though i think it's gonna be really cool i've also been very much enjoying um the memes on twitter about like cute warden and people like making it into like a little french maid <laughs> the golem wins why am i not surprised Yeah, they need to figure all that out. They've got all this stuff to do. Oh, gosh, where is this darn skull? Oh no, I'm in this hole now. Okay, well, we're going this way. We go where this random cave takes us. Yeah, Golem does win a lot. That is unless you pillar up against it and then you win as the player. You know that early game iron. Sorry, I uh, had to look at my phone. My mom is having like a really rough couple of weeks. So I'm like texting her a lot. So, she cute though. Um, this goes into another cave. Thank you. I appreciate that. I know I don't technically have to like apologize or explain myself, but I do feel bad just like randomly pausing and being silent. Wow, we are struggling. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get any skulk today. <laughs> again for like the second time second or third time i don't know how many times i've streamed in this world now i think two it's a little cringe <laughs> ah that's fair that's totally fair all right so we have not found skulk but we are not going to give up um next stream we're going to try this again one more time and then after that if i still can't find it i'm gonna give up and make a new world and enable cheats and find the biome and then we'll do it in survival like teleport <laughs> yeah i gave it my shot i gave it my best shot that's what matters is we really tried we put in the effort we spent like four hours in survival trying to find this so we're gonna try one more time and then we'll like basically find the biome using commands and then in survival like near the area um we will try and do it that way so at least give ourselves like kind of a better chance because i do think that the game developers are going to add a way to find this without it being so painful you know because like imagine if this was the case with strongholds like if there were no ender pearls to indicate where a stronghold was right like that would be so painful trying to get and kill the dragon so i i think they're gonna have to do something differently but yeah i think this is where we're gonna call it for a night 
let me real quick bop over and see who is streaming right now and who we can send a raid to. We have a couple people are live. Um, it looks like iJevin is live playing some Minecraft. So yeah, let's send a raid over to iJevin. Yeah, thank you. Um, I will be back on Thursday doing some more streaming, so definitely come and check it out. But thanks, I've been Small Cats. Have a nice one.